John in Brooklyn, New York. He writes and he says, hey Paul, I was a teenager when CDs came along and I can't remember anyone ever purchasing a DAC as a separate audio component until fairly recently. I can understand how that evolution would unfold. However, as the technology advanced over time and the processing stages of a digital audio signal became increasingly specialized, I am wondering why hasn't the same happened with ADCs? And I think the answer to your question, John, is they have. You just don't see it. <laughs> so, ADCs, so let me, let me give you a little bit of background. And I, forgive me because most of you probably already know this, but I always get a, a number of new people watching these videos who don't really quite get what we're talking about. So, ADCs, DACs. ADCs are an analog to digital converter. It's how we take the sound of my voice through an analog microphone and convert it over to the language of a computer. Digital, okay? That's an analog to digital converter. And your phone has one, uh, and they're, uh, it, it, pretty much anything today that can understand your voice, uh, your computer, uh, an Alexa, I mean, anything like that. E even cameras, phones, all of that have ADCs built into them and it's how th the natural world's sounds gets into the language of a computer. And a DAC, which is a digital to analog converter, is the opposite. It takes the language of a computer and turns it into analog, something that you and I can hear, okay? So there's your brief little primer there. So they're everywhere, but you don't see them so much in a hi-fi store. You walk into a hi-fi store today or you get online on psaudio.com, you won't see an A to D converter for sale. And that's because there really isn't a whole lot of call for it. Years ago, we made the, the new wave phono converter we sold thousands of those, and that was a really high-end, separate A to D converter and a phono stage in one box. I, I, I still use one. I loved that product. It was great, and it ran its course, but that was wonderful because that allowed you to rip, if you will, using the vernacular of the computer, it allowed you to rip your vinyl onto a hard drive, and then you could listen to it through a DAC. At Octave Studios, our state-of-the-art recording studio, we've got tons of separate A to D converters and they are beautiful, gorgeous. They're made by a company called Pyramix, Merging Technologies. And they're very, very beautifully built. And uh, our chief engineer, Bob Stadther, uh, and I, uh, but mostly Bob, are working on a new age of A to D converters that will someday replace those Pyramix in the studio if, if they perform the way we think they'll perform. We're getting close. It's not an easy thing to do. Building an A to D, not quite so hard, but getting that to work in the environment of a Pyramix workstation, whew, lots of software and money, oh my gosh. But fun project. So yeah, they're around, they're just in the pro world and you don't see them much in consumer audio simply because there's not a whole lot of need for it. Thanks for the question. See you tomorrow.